She's Better at Lovin', also known as Track 11 on our next record. We're coming out very soon. That's Michael Muir on the lead guitar. Give it up for Michael Muir. Thank you. Yo, sound man. Give it up for the sound man. Working hard back there. Very appreciative of him. I would love a little more vocal in my monitor. Speaking of sound man. I would love a little bit more vocal in my monitor if I could. Thank you very much. How about Sea Star playing earlier? That was a, that was a great set. This one is inspired by the unofficial color of the Pacific Northwest, which of course is bright gray, a very specific shade of gray. It's also the title of the song. Jake Evans on the drums, give it up for Jake on the drums. Yeah. 
Here's one of my COVID-induced compositions I wrote in a log cabin in Leavenworth at the beginning of lockdown. It talks about how I used to sell baseball cards at the end of my driveway when I was five years old. And, uh, and, and many other things. This one's called The Kid Down the Road. <laughs>
Jeremy Lightfoot on the bass. Give it up for Jeremy on the bass. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. I'm going to make you sad. You might have noticed we got some trucker hats and t-shirts for sale over there. Some vintage compact discs, remember those? Some people call them CDs, compact discs. The stickers are free, feel free to grab a sticker.
On that note, let's play a, a love song. You guys ready for a love song? And it's gonna be a country song as well. The title track of the next record is called I Wanna Spend My Yesterdays With You. Extra special thanks to the bar staff and wait staff. They're working hard. We're very pleased to work them. And the, door, and the door guy, of course.
Jim, I'm loving this name. Michael's loving that amp, Jim. I don't know if you, if you heard that. Hey, Jim, that amp sounds killer. Speaking of Jim, some of you probably know Jim Roth is playing in the next band, Goody Blick. Very, very much looking forward to Goody Blick. We're very excited to be on this bill and uh, to have the invite from them. And um, actually, my next record, Norman Baker in the Back Rows, the next record, I recorded it at Jim's place. And, uh, and it was a very, it was a delightful experience and it's a great record. Looking forward to putting it out. And uh, very glad to have done it. To, to be able to do it with him at his, at his studio. So thank you, Jim Roth. And start to see the see the goody blip. I wrote this one in Braunfels, Texas, in the backyard of my friend's permaculture farm. This one's inspired by one of my favorite singing drummers. This one is called Levon, the singing drummer.
Thank you. You can find that one on the Worldwide Interwebs where you stream music. Look up Norman Baker in the back rows. And you can find that too. It's the first single from the, from the new record. Actually, Jim wrote that riff. Jim wrote that riff in the chorus, the, the, the beginning of the chorus. The, Michael was shredding the lead on it, but that's a, that's a Jim Roth original lick right there. Just to bring it on home, full circle. Speaking of, here's a song I wrote in a Bavarian village town in central Washington. Hey, Darren. Hello. Not to be confused with uh, one of the major prisons. Hey, guys. Uh, hey.
time for the those that are in church I'm asking the people in church it's five to eleven so like one more yeah like what's our one more okay one more it says one more we're gonna twang it up a little bit Thank you so much. We're Norman Baker in the back roads. We're going to do one more tune. This is a song I wrote about an altercation I got in with a karaoke host in Nashville. So, uh, true story. True story. I don't always listen to country music or sing country music or, or play country music, but when I do, I prefer, I prefer the real deal, old school country music. And uh, I was in Nashville about... Ten years ago, um, doing my other job, which is playing bass and singing harmonies on records and stuff, and, and uh, while I was there, I had this strong urge to sing some old school country music in one of the country capitals of the world. So the Nashville session musicians that I was working with took me to this karaoke bar, and I was looking through the book and found some old George Jones and found some old 
Merle Haggard, some old soul, Sam Cooke, and so I'm like, hell yes, I'm filling out my, filling out my slip, and uh, turning them in, and like, the lady refused to call me up, she's like, no, but I don't like the beat of that song, I'd lose my crowd, and like, after puking in my mouth a little bit, I was like, what do you, what do you mean, what do you mean, like, you don't, you guys don't do country here in Nashville? They were, they, she specialized, if you will, in um, what they call like new country or pop country. Oh my God, I know, yeah. That was, like I said, I puked in my mouth a little bit, but anyway, so, so uh, she, yeah, she wouldn't, she wouldn't allow any real deal country music. So like, we went somewhere else and I sang those songs at a different karaoke bar, which that's, that's pretty much the most I'll ever say about karaoke, because Karaoke doesn't really matter, but but it's also just bizarre being in one of the country capitals of the world and not being allowed to sing any like real country music. Go to Roberts. <laughs> but also, I never heard of anyone being turned away from karaoke for any reason whatsoever. It doesn't matter what songs you're picking, how drunk or sober you are. It was. Uh, but anyhow, let's let the song. I do. This is it. This one's called Nashville Karaoke. It's one of the fiddle tunes off the next record. Also known as Track 6, I think.
place where no show Jones is on the air. Thank you so much.